Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. What's up? And as always, we'll be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Week 15. 15, 15. Week 15. Week, week 15. 15. Pretty Last crazy. Week was 14, which means this is week 15. It's, it is nuts. And you know what else is nuts? What are we wearing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I was putting up a three. You should put up a three, too. You see what that is? That's three and oh, baby. What do you got over there? Three, three and, and oh. oh. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I, like, flunked out of college math, but I am positive if you add three with another three... That equals six. And... And you know what? The six looks like a crown for a king. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, well, you know. I went with it. We could use that. We I could use it. I went with it. It's, it's workable. It's workable. Yeah. Six and all, baby. You Hope see, you parlay the whole thing. You see the suits, and as you know on this show, when you go 3-0, and you dress 3-0, and and that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm going to celebrate a little bit here because I deserve it. Wow. Good for you. After a nice... 6 and 0 the past 2 weeks. I'm flying high right now. I'm flying high. So we got to get high. All right. My first pick. Packers. Talking about green. 29 and 14 by the way. Yeah, you talking about green? We're talking about the Packers at the Ravens minus 7. Um all Aaron, no Lamar, maybe. I don't know yet. I don't know if it's official. He didn't practice all week, so. <laughs> But it's not looking good for the Ravens. The Packers are your favorite team to bet, huh? They are a very good team to bet. Yeah. You can't go wrong betting the Packers. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the Ravens are on a slide right now. They suck. Yeah. And they're really not anything out. Without Lamar, they can't really compete. Um, minus seven. I wish this was six and a half. Mm. I really do. Because you never know what the Ravens. It's got, pu- they, they it's make got those, push written all over. They make those weird comebacks at the end of the game. Harbaugh's still a good coach. Yeah. But here's the deal. I'm flying high with the Packers, minus seven, Aaron Rodgers, going into Baltimore and smoking them. You have somewhere to go, bro. No, I'm fine. I always want to offer. But no, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. No. I, I mean, I, I'm i going to a Christmas party. I could smoke weed if I wanted to. Yeah, it's just a little early in the day. You know, Way some, too early in the day people. I, If I smoke reefer, it's at night. Not everyone's an animal. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. So yeah. you're taking the Packers minus seven. <laughs> yeah, go. It's a good bet. It's a good bet. Take your pick. Well, I mean, you say you usually say lock it in. I'm a sharp. It's simple. I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's you know what's not high? The total in the Houston Texans Jacksonville Jaguars. I know, right? That was what? pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. We're going over 39 and a half Texans Jaguars. Listen, Houston and Jacksonville are god awful. However, Urban Meyer's gone. Which means this Jacksonville Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence, James Robinson, might actually be unleashed. They might. You never know. The Texans are dog shit. They're abysmal. I think they wiped the floor with the Jaguars week one with the total going over 39 and a half. They're going to score. They're both going to score. All you need is 40 points. 23-17. Look at that. How easy is that? Or. Is that, what was the total of this game? 39 and a half. Oh, wow. 39 and a half. My rule of thumb. You see an NFL total in 2021 that's under 40 points, you take the over. Pretty Sorry. Good. You take the over, and that's what we're doing. Houston, Jacksonville, over 39 and a half. Lock I, it in. Uh, I'm a sharp. It's simple. I'll tell you what, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I like that like little, if you see an under, over, four, uh, over uh, yeah, under. It's a, it's a rule. Yeah. It, it makes good sense there. I like it. I um, if, the, if two NFL teams in 2021 can't combine to score 40 points, you're f***ing losers. Yeah, and the Jaguars should have a little fire. That's what I'm saying, so. right, yeah. Yeah, I like that because you didn't... Yeah, I like that. That might be your favorite pick of yours of the whole entire year. Ah, uh, thank you. All right. My second pick... Which means it'll probably they'll probably only score like eight points. Yeah. My second pick, and here's the thing. I don't know what it is yet. I'm going to pick it right now because I have two I really like, but I have one on my card, and I'm going to go with the one on my card. I'm going to do it. Okay. <sighs> I almost pivoted. Say. I almost pivoted. Oh, it's a lot of points. We, t- we don't care about points anymore. I know. I know. All right. It's the Cowboys Great at the Giants, minus 11 and a half. Great it's pick. simple. It's simple. Guys, look, it's a backup quarterback again. I hate to do it. To, I took the Giants. You know, I took I spread against the Giants last week with the Chargers we hit. 
Um, I think the Chargers and the Cowboys are both pretty good offenses. So why shouldn't the Cowboys be able to cover this spread too? That's like kind of my my thinking here. Uh, Mike Lennon, backup quarterback, is going to give you one, maybe two good quarters, not four. Have you heard that one before? Yeah, I, I heard it last week. I, yeah, I, exactly. I don't, I don't even think he's going to give you a quarter. He's terrible. Yeah, well, here's, he shouldn't even be a backup. He should be a fucking. He should be in a zoo like the giraffe he is. That stupid malignant cunt. Excuse me for saying. Something. All right, Mike, Mike Lennon has a big neck. So if you guys didn't know where that was going, that's yeah. Sorry. Neck joke. Um, No, no, you're good. All right. I only have on my card, like literally Cowboys, Giants minus 11 and a half. Mike Glennon. I didn't even spell Mike Glennon's name right. I wrote M-I-K. I I just said, I didn't even put the E in it because it doesn't matter. Who cares? He's so bad. So fuck Mike Glennon. He sucks. The Giants suck. I agree. Thank you. I was, you know, put put up a block, parry that punch. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I have. Um, I know I look like Keanu Reeves today. Shout out. No, no. Shout out Keanu. You look like Keanu Reeves ate Keanu Reeves. I look like giant Keanu Reeves. Yes. Keanu Reeves ate Keanu Reeves. That's well, what you would look that's like. That's a mean way to put it. Let's just say uh, uh, big Keanu Reeves. Fat Keanu Reeves. I look like a large Keanu Reeves. Yeah, and I look like Leonardo DiCaprio. Anyway, my next pick is... I bet... You know what? It's funny. You bet the Packers a lot. I bet this team a lot, too. Do they win for you? They have, yeah. We're going to the Steel City, and we are taking the Steelers minus one against the Titans. The Titans are just still beating bad. Yeah, they're like nine and four, right? Nine and four, there's something like that. They're very good. But the Steelers are desperate. They're at home. The Titans are still ravaged with injuries. The Steelers need this win a lot more than the Titans need this win because the Steelers lose, their season's over. Uh, Mike Tomlin's oh, uh, 500 or better record starts to be in jeopardy. Uh, I'm only I only need to win by by two points in Pittsburgh. The terrible towels out. That, that crowd is gonna be raucous. I'm taking the Steelers minus one at home, and I'm feeling pretty confident about it. Najee Harris should have his way with that Titans defense, which is very subpar. Uh, Big Ben has not looked that awful. They should have honestly. They could have very well beaten the, the Vikings on Monday night last week. They didn't, or two weeks ago, whenever it was. They didn't. Obviously, it's okay though. They're gonna beat the Titans, and by more than one point. We're going Steelers minus one against the injury-ravished Titans, who I think are NFL's most overrated team right now without their superstars. A.J. Brown, Derrick Henry. Yeah, they're in a tough spot. They're in a tough, they're in a tough, tough spot. spot. It's, uh, it's a weird team to bet, too, because you never really know what to expect from right. them. You're always Correct. expecting the worst, Correct. but then somehow Tannehill but, rushes a touchdown yes, every time. Yes, and, and with the Steelers, it's like I, I trust Mike Tomlin enough that he can – Cover the one at home in a must, must, must win game. They lose, they're done. So we're going with the Steelers. Yeah. All right. Good pick. Maybe we'll see. Let's uh, head over to our other studio for the underdog play of the day, which I'm pretty sure we didn't hit last week. So no, absolutely not. I don't know if we've ever hit one. Who gives a shit? We went six and zero. That's right. That's all that matters. That, that's what matters. You're all fucking millionaires now. You're welcome. Take us away, boys. All right, we're here for the underdog play of the day. I'm Animal, that's Snacks, and uh, nice to see you. you can do the underdog on underdogfantasy.com or the app. You can download it and bet on the on these picks. One or the other. I'm Animal, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to do the underdog play of the day. Uh, my pick is Cordero Patterson, 86 and a half rushing and receiving yards. And we're taking the over. He's good. He does that a lot. Yeah, he's a, he's a gadget. <laughs> Your animal? <laughs> I'm Snacks Burgundy. <laughs> We're going to go over 75 and a half Stefan Diggs receiving yards. That's what we're going to do. He's going to get the ball from Josh Allen, who might not be running the ball a lot because he has a sprained foot. So he's going to throw it. And Stefan Diggs, really good wide receiver. You can uh, combine these picks for 3x on your money. So if you bet $3 billion, you won $9 billion. Is that how that works? Except you can't bet $3 billion on the app. Why not? I think they have limits. Really? You could try 3000 Try 300000 Try 300000 You hear that, Yannick? Try it. I think that might work. Do it. Um, Do it. Promo code BDGE, maybe. Uh, I think you still get Do deposit it. match up to $100. I don't know. I'm kind of high. Um, yeah, you are getting high. But, uh, yeah. Good luck. Back to you. All right. Great picks. Uh, really? Yeah, those guys were chill. Pretty chill guys. Yeah, one was. Do you see that one guy was stoned out of his ass? I didn't see it. But did you hear that sound? No. I 
I didn't hear it. I'm just going to wait for the next one. Oh. I'm not going to dance around it. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you, you asked me if I heard it. Hear it. There it is again. The third one, you hear it, right? Third one. One more, guys. Hold on. Oh, and that's the. Did you got hear it, that? Got it. Uh, got it. You hear it? It's over here. Yep. Yeah. Got it. Got it. I told I you. Think when it gets to the left ear, I could hear it. Yeah, no. I think that means it's time for the big blocks. Good lung capacity on that one. I don't know how. All you do is smoke like a chimney. And you know who else is going to smoke like a chimney? This weekend, we got, actually, this Monday. Hold on, mm. let me start that again, Ike. Mm. This Monday, we got the Vikings at the Bears. We're taking the Vikings minus five and a half. Look, the Bears' run game is shit. It is shit. Well, the run defense. The Bears' run defense is shit. They can't stop the run. You know who runs the ball? Dalvin Cook. You know what he does? He cooks. He cooks fucking defenses up. He fucking cooks them, flips them up like a spatula with an egg. Uh, you worried about Kirk Cousins in prime time? No, I'm a Kirk Cousins believer. I'm one of the few people that believes in Kirk Cousins. I like Kirk. So, I've always liked Kirk. Uh, Vikings and Bears minus five and a half. I really like this. It's a bear market, baby. Bear, <laughs> bear market. You know what bear market means? Going down. You're going down. That's what, if you're follow stocks, right? You know, a bull market is when the market is going up. And a bear market is when it's going down. And the bears are in a bear market right now. <laughs> right? You like that shit? Six and oh last week. Us. Six and oh the last two weeks, me. Twenty nine and fourteen on the season. Sixty seven percent. I'm a sharp and simple. He's honestly probably the best gambler on on the Twitter space or the the, the interweb. I really like the Dolphins this week too, but it's not an official pick. But just, yeah, you can't do it. Just, uh, I also like the Giants. Just, money, I like the Giants money line. No, you wanted, can't say that because my pick, my, my extra pick was serious. Oh, well, can I give a serious extra pick then? No, I like it, Seattle plus five. Doesn't and count half. for the record. Just no, it doesn't count for the record. I, just, I like Seattle. I like Seattle five and a half. That's all. But I'm not taking that. My big lock. Who circles the wagons? Who does it better? Pioneers. Who does the best circling of the wagons? I feel like uh, the Bills. The Buffalo Bills. No one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. And that's who we're taking for the big lock. Minus 12 and a half against Carolina Panthers. First of all, who the fuck is even starting at quarterback for the Panthers? Do you know? I have no idea. Does it matter? I don't really think so. The Bills are desperate for a win. They are literally inching closer towards not being a playoff team, if you haven't noticed. Well, this is a must-win game. This is a must-win game. It's a must-win by 12 and a half game. 12 and a half. No, I, listen. I think they need to make a statement. And I think they're going to make a statement. Carolina's coming to bu- up to Buffalo, where it's going to probably be frigid cold. That stadium is going to be crazy. People are going to be flying through tables. I don't care if Josh Allen is a fucking foot-broken, sprained shit, whatever. It don't matter. He's going to be under center, in the shotgun, doing whatever he does. Because he's Josh Allen. He's a freak of nature. And he's got big hands. Big fucking hands. You know what you say when you have big hands? Could throw a ball big far. I meant big gloves, but that too. Absolutely. We are going 12 and a half. I don't I think the Panthers are on one free fall. I think Matt Rule apparently is in question with ownership and he might be fired, which is crazy. They just fired the offensive coordinator, Joe Brady. The Bills just got embarrassed by the by the Patriots running 46 run plays out of a possible 49. They're hungry. They're angry. They're at home. They're going to win by 20-plus. Take the Bills, minus 12 and a half. Don't look back. Parlay them all. That's a good throw. Thank you very much. Bagels and Locks. Whoa. Sorry, not yet. Whoa. That's the show. Please like. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Comment your best bets. Comment your best bets down below. Thanks for watching. Bagels and Locks.